morning. It is 9.59. I know we're early. That's okay. I'm just going to sit and make sure I have everything that I need. I always say that and then I always forget something, but uh, you should see this. Talk about messes. I always am amazed that I can make things more messy than they really are. It's just crazy. Anyway, I have a little sip of my coffee. My iced coffee. And as soon as it's 10 o'clock, we will start. And hopefully, if you're out there, pop on and say hello. Um, so, is anybody out there? It's not 10 o'clock yet, almost. It's a rainy, misty morning here, but it's still spring. I don't think we're going to get any more snow. I'm hoping we're not going to get any more. Although, I remember a number of years ago... Um, it was, uh, on Easter Sunday, it was absolutely gorgeous. It was like 74 degrees outside. And the very next day we got three feet of snow. It was crazy. Just crazy. Anyway, it is 10 o'clock. So it is fantabulous, fantastic, and fun Friday. Welcome everybody. If you're there, pop on so I can, um, see you and say hi. Um, I've got lots of things to show you this morning. So I'm first going to start. Let me just show you the, the cards. Here are the cards that we've got, and two of them. And I am using all of Retiring Project products. You know now, hello, Barbara McDuffie. Good morning. Nice to, to pop on it. I bet Bob's there, too, so hi to Bob, too. Um, and I'm glad you're with me this morning. So, yes, I am using Retiring Products because, as you know, the retiring list came out, and if there's anything that you want, you need to scoff it up now because they are going like hotcakes. So these are the two cards that I'm going to be doing today. This one is using the Rooted in Nature stamp set, which is retiring. For some reason, the framelits aren't, but the, the stamp set is. This is very simple. I think it's a great card for anyone, but you probably could use it a lot more for men. And actually, this card I'm going to be sending to somebody because I know somebody who's going through some issues right now. So I just want that person to know. And I'm thinking of him. And then this one is using the wrapped bouquet stamp set and framelits, which are retiring, as well as the nested framelits. So I think what I'm going to first do is start with this one. So let me just move all of this stuff over here and get everything that I need. And I am using... Um, very vanilla card stock. Good morning, Helene. Thank you for popping on. Nice to see you this morning. Okay, here we go. Very vanilla card stock. It's already cut and it's scored. And let me give it a nice crisp fold with my bone folder. Love my bone folder. Then the next thing is I'm going to take a piece of um, old olive card stock, which I've cut to five and a quarter by four. And then I'm going to take a piece of soft suede and this one I cut a little bit smaller um, this one is three and a quarter by four and a half three and a quarter by four and a half so this one is going to go on top of this so let me get some uh, adhesive going here and uh, and I also want to apologize for the grubby clothes. You can't see them all, but I'm in grubby clothes because I'm, I know this is going to sound funny, but I'm painting my furnace area downstairs. My studio is almost ready for me to take occupancy. Good morning, Kathy. Thank you for joining in. And um, so yesterday I did some of the painting and today I'm going to finish as much as I possibly can. Okay. Anyway, so that's why I'm in grubby clothes, but you don't care about that. I'm not a fashionista anyway. <laughs> Good morning, Paula. Thank you for popping in. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the base of the card. And then, and you notice that I'm not doing a lot of embossing. I'm keeping this really, really simple because I want it. It is a simple card and I want to make it nice and simple and easy and fast to make. So here we go right here. Now I'm going to layer this on just like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my layer, my smaller layer of the very vanilla cardstock. And now I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. So I'm going to take the tree trunk from Rooted in Nature and I am going to stamp that in the center. Ink it up with my, I'm using soft suede 
and then I'm just going to simply come in, give it a little Stamparini. There you go, like that, easy peasy. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the words that say I'm thinking of you, and I am going to find my, you know, oh, here it is right here. Um, a PS pad because this is a photopolymer stamp, so I always like to have the um, photopolymer has some nice cushion to it, and so I want to make sure that the impression is absolutely perfect. So I'm taking the words I'm thinking of you, and I'm just going to stamp it on the bottom like that. Uh, this is a very beautiful, simple t um, font, too. I like the way that looks. Then the next thing I'm going to do is going to close up my ink pad because you know how I am with messiness. All right, this is going to get applied to the base of the card with my stamp and seal. Notice I have my um, PS pad underneath because it's the best thing to use when you're using this adhesive. There we go, centering that just like that. And then what I did was I took one of the trees from the Rooted in Nature stamp set. I stamped it, and then I used the die cut to cut it out. And I'm going to put this on with some dimensionals. And this way, it's just going to give it a little bit of added interest like this. And I think what I'm going to do here is just to cut um, a little piece for the bottom, a really thin strip for the tree trunk. Because I want to make sure that it pops up and it stays popped up. Sometimes when you do that, you you know, it gets a little bit floppy if you don't put adhesive on the whole thing. So that's, look at that. How perfect is that? All right, then pop off my little dimensionals. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, good morning. Thanks for popping on. And here we go. Took off my little paperbacks and then I'm going to put my little tree right here to the side just like that how easy is that isn't that pretty just a very simple card could be a birthday card you could use it really for anything that you want but I you know chose to use I'm thinking of you because um, I need it for somebody special okay so and of course I am going to take my winky and I am going to uh, just um, good morning Jean and Joe from sunny Florida. Is it sunny in Florida? I'm sure it is. You'll have to give the weather report for Florida. Sandy is uh, getting her second COVID shot this morning, so she's not able to join us this morning. But Joe and Jean are in Florida, and they, they can tell us what the temperature is. There we go. Ta-da! And then on the inside, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take some old olive, because you know I have to have the envelope and the inside of the card also decorated to some degree. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to take the tree, I'm going to ink it up, and I'm just going to stamp the top portion of it in full strength on the inner part of the card. And then on the envelope, I'm going to come and just huff 90 degrees in Florida, holy moly. I'm not ready for 90, but I'm sure ready for my pool to be open in less than three weeks. Woohoo! Okay, there we go. There it is, my friend. Here it is. This card, easy peasy, done. Easy. So if you're interested in the Rooted in Nature stamp set, it's a two, it's, there are two um, stamps to this. What do they do with them? They're over here somewhere. Oh, what did I do with them? See, you think I'm organized. I'm not organized. Well, I'm sort of organized. Anyway, Rooted in Nature. Two, Hello, right in front of me, right here. So this is the stamp set that is retiring. It's got great, great images, like the sign, the sayings, like the designs, really, really pretty. So that set is retiring. All right, so that's the first card. Let me move this out of the way. Now we're going to go to the second card. Now, this card is one that I made up all by myself. Uh, hi, Steph, good morning. Swimming every day, I will miss you. So coming home Sunday. Well, you can swim up here. You can find a pool that's open, or you could come to Franklin. In three weeks, mine will be open. We can do a polar bear swim for a few days. I go in every day. It's good. Let me just say, it's good. It's healthy. I like it. All right, go back. <laughs> Never mind. 
All right, here we go. Okay, so here's the card. This is wrapped in wrapped bouquet, the ramp wrapped bouquet stamp set, which I absolutely love. And I this was this came to the party late. Yes, I'm so sad it's retiring too. I'm not sure I'm gonna sell it because I really love it. I love black and white and I love the images and I love this little newspaper print stamp set in the background and I like the fonts on this. But anyway, and the, the uh, images that you get for the, the framelits are really beautiful too. So I, I, I don't think I'm gonna be selling this at my Barbara's, Barbara's Buck sale. Anyway, this, so this is the set. So what I first did was I took Purple Posy. Now Purple Posy is retiring. It's in color, so it's going. So if you're interested, you gotta grab those as soon as possible. The, the in color um, collection goes wicked fast. Terracotta um, has already gone, the uh, cardstock has gone, although I saw something on the um, leaderboard that said that they thought more terracotta tile, I mean, a Rococo Rose, not terracotta, Rococo Rose was coming in. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't checked that this morning. Anyway, all right, here's the base. Hi, Nancy in sunny California. My little Franklinite has gone to California for five weeks. Nice to see you. Thanks for popping on. So the next thing I did was I took a piece of the basic black cardstock and I ran it through the dainty diamonds um, embossing folder. And I am sad. Can we have a moment? Because this is one of my favorite folders. I cannot believe they're retiring it. So again, if you're interested in this, this is one you might want to jump on and, and order because this is going. So of course I had to use it. And having used it, let me get my, whoops, a little extra piece of paper there. Let me get my little silicone pad. And I'm going to use the top side of this add a little adhesive all the way around. I just can't believe this is going, ugh. But you know what, you have to have things retire in order to have new things come out and the new catalog is pretty amazing. I've seen it, it's pretty amazing. But let's talk about the retiring things first. We have to give credence and we have to give praise to all of these products that have serviced us so well for so long. All right, Nancy, I'm glad you're up. You're 7 o'clock in the morning. It's, I hope you're in your jam jams. I would be in my jam jams. I'm in my painting clothes. Okay. All right. So another um, set of dies that's retiring are the stitched nested labels, which I'm sad about this too because I think these were kind of funky. Look at the different shapes and sizes of these. I love these. So these are going as well. So, of course, I said, you know what? I'm going to use these because if anybody is interested in these, this is another thing they might want to get. So I took two of the sizes, not the next to the largest and the next one smaller, cut one out in purple posy, and then cut the other out in black. And I'm simply going to layer these two together. And then what I did was I took a piece of um, Whisper White cardstock and I stamped one of the floral images from the um, wrapped bouquet stamp set which I love. Now, I know that we used this before. We used this a couple of weeks ago, but it's different. So, <clears throat> so let's just get this attached first. Let me just add a little bit here and here and here. Okay, now I'll put this on the center of the card. Ooh, there's a little bit of persnickety card right here. Let me see if I can get that off. Still waking up. I get it, Nancy. I actually thought about staying in my pajamas and then just getting, you know, that would have been nicer. But you know what? I want to get started painting after I finish my class. So I just put these on. So that's fine. All right. So what I did was I took the image, this image here from the wrapped bouquet and I stamped it on white cardstock. Whoops, let me pull it over. This one. I stamped it with the me memento ink and then I cut it out with the die. There are lots of nice dies in here, like I said before. So I cut it out with the die. And then I'm, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pop this on with lots of dimensionals because I just want to have some interest here. So lots of dimensionals, probably five or six, like that. All right, then take these little things off. Oh, lots of birds out in my backyard. I don't know if you can hear them or not, but they're, they're very happy and lots of squirrels and chipmunks. Crazy, crazy. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right in the center of that die. Uh, a little bit to the top, just a little bit to the top. 
And then I'm going to take three of my um, watercolor markers. I'm gonna take the Purple Posy, I'm gonna take the Highland Heather, and I'm going to take um, Old Olive. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight some of these flowers, not all of them. Oh, who knows, I might, you never know. But I just like to use, it's not really monochromatic. I, I'm using a couple of the different um, colors, the Purple Posy and the Highland Heather, just like that. But I'm not being I'm not being particular, and I'm not being persnickety. I'm just kind of giving them a little bit of a tint, hither and yon. And now I'm going to take the darker one, and I'm just going to add some, just a few little strokes of color. Not I'm not coloring it a lot, just a little bit like that. Can you see that? Just a little. And some of these flowers, I'm just going to dabble a little bit of ink in the center, like that. Dab, 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 fast, fast, easy, easy. Ta-da, done. Maybe a little bit more, just a little bit more. Just a little bit to give it a pop of color. And then I'm going to add a little bit of green. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Just a little bit here. Just a little color here and there. Not a lot, just a little just to give it a little bit of interest there. And then of course, to highlight it all, I have to use Wink of Stella. That's just me. I swear to God, I'm gonna die with Wink of Stella in my hand. It, make sure that it's there in the casket. Although I'm not gonna be in a casket, I'm gonna be in an earth pod. So when you drop me in the ground, make sure that I have Wink of Stella in my hands, one in each hand, please. It's not biodegradable, I'm sure, but you know, the rest of me will be, and for goodness sakes, I certainly will be adding back to the earth with my girth that I have. Oh, God, it's terrible, all these COVID calories. But what can you do? All right, there, and a little bit of there, just like that. How pretty is that? And it, and it just gives it just a little bit of shine. Look at how pretty that is. See that? Just a nice little bit of shine. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Purple Posy ribbon, and this is retiring too, and I'm gonna take, and I'm just going to make a ribbon hope. Those hope ribbons, you know how we have ribbons for every single color imaginable, and everything imaginable to support organizations. And I'm just gonna pull it until I get it about like that. Then I'm gonna hold on to the center of that. I love that you love Wink of Stella, but, but what, Jen? And I'm going to pull these two together. I'm going to kind of overlap them. This is a linen ribbon, and it's thick. Not thick, but it's stiff. It's a stiff ribbon. But by doing that, I've allowed it to reshape a little bit so that it, go, it shapes kind of nicely on the bottom. So then I'm going to cut with my, my a nice, trusty ribbon scissors. And there, I have a very nice, whoops, there we go, a very, very nice little bow like that. Whoa, whoa. I always forget where this camera is. There we go. Now I'm going to take my larger glue dots. You know, you get large glue dots and small glue dots, but I'm gonna use the large ones because we need the large ones. I'm gonna take three of them and I'm going to put three on because I want this to stick well. Remember, this is a linen thread, linen threaded ribbon, and you really do need to have some Good adhesive on this and these glue dots are great and so I'm just going to take the little backings off you should see my floor I have them all over the place things are progressing nicely I think maybe two more hi Ray thank you for popping in oh gosh it's so nice to see you thank you so much okay so now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it right at the bottom just like that and I'm going to press firmly and there you go what do you think now, of course, we have to do something on the inside. And what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to take the floral image, which is right here, with my Memento ink, and I am going to stamp up the top, and I'm going to stamp just a portion of that for the inside, and then I'm going to take my envelope and do the same thing just like that perfect so that my friends is oh no wait 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 and then on the inside of the card let me take this again on the inside i put thanks friend this is going to go to somebody who is a friend 
And uh, actually, I know who it's going to go to because this morning I get I got an online order from one of my friends, Caroline. So if Caroline, if you're watching, I think I'm going to send you this card in the mail. But if you're not watching, it'll be a really great surprise. Whoops, it's a little crooked. Who cares? There are no mistakes in Stampin' Up. It doesn't matter. Just a little bit crooked. And if I was in a, if I wanted to change this out, I could. But I don't think she's going to mind. It's just a tiny little, tiny little bit off. That doesn't bother me so much. So let me put this on the inside. And there we go. Of the purple posy. Such a pretty color. I'm so sad that it's retiring. Ugh. But that's what happens when you have in colors. The new in colors are very pretty. Very pretty. All right, there we go. All right, so there is the inside. There is the envelope. And here are the two cards for this week. So these are the porch pickups. So if you're interested, let me know. If you're going to do porch pickup plus, we need to have a little bit of time where you can come and do your stamping, which is totally fine with me. A little 15-minute block, we can chit-chat. And there you go. Okay, so those are porch pickups. Now, I told you I have one little surprise for Easter, and I do. So Kathy brought me a whole bunch of um, the, remember a couple of years ago, we had these really cute um, egg crates, cottons. Aren't these adorable? So darn cute that you could put four of the Cadbury eggs in, or in my case, I like Cadbury, I love Cadbury eggs, but my real favorite are the Dove milk chocolate candies or the Dove milk chocolate and caramel. So of course I bought some Dove milk chocolate and caramel that I was going to put in here, but I have to admit I ate them. And not only did I eat what fit in here, but I ate the whole bag. I admit it, I'm a sick woman. What can you do? It could be worse. It could be something worse, but I did. So there's nothing to show you to put inside, but what I am going to show you is I'm going to show you how to make this. Oh, I didn't even show you the sample yet. <laughs> okay, so here is one of the samples that I made right here. And of course, I had to use the Hey Chick stamp set because the Hey Chick stamp set is too darn cute. So what I did was I took the egg cotton, I sprayed it with um, paint and some uh, frosty ink, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Then I cut out the eggs. Uh, th the other thing about the Hey Chick and the Hey Chick birthday is there are so many cute framelits that you can use with this. I mean, normally, I, to be honest, normally I don't get stamp sets that have lots and lots of framelits or even lots of um, stamps because to do classes and things, it's just a lot of stuff that potentially can get lost. So, um, <laughs> yes, Jean, I did. I ate them all. And I was trying to think of a way how not to tell you why this thing wasn't uh, filled with chocolate and I was going to lie through my teeth, but I can't tell a lie. I ate them. But anyway, getting back to the framelits, the framelits are adorable, adorable, adorable. So with the Hey Chick and the Hey Chick birthday, you get tons of framelits. So, of course, I used those. Then I took the French scissors. Remember the French scissors that we had a long, long time ago? I took those. And I cut out in using the um, granny apple green cardstock fringe so that I could make grass all around the um, entire box like that. And then I took the glimmer paper that we have. I'm so glad you like it, Paula. And the glimmer paper, and I cut out tons of these little eggs. So I put eggs all around in the grass. The little chick is sitting on top of some grass with eggs and her baby chicks right here. And then I took some um, a, a coastal, I mean, um, a balmy blue um, twine and some copper thread, and I made a bow and wrapped the whole thing up. So you can fill these up. So let me just show you how I did this because this is wicked fun. Um, and it could be a little bit messy. But anyway, here is the egg crate. So you take the egg crate, and then I took one of my misters. And into this mister, I put balmy blue ink, the refill, probably five to six drops. I put in about a third of alcohol, rubbing alcohol, 90% alcohol. And then I took the all-purpose frost white ink which I don't even know if we sell this anymore, but I bet a lot of you have it. So it comes in these little bottles. You have to shake it up really, really well. It's got one of those uh, steel balls inside, and that ball helps 
to um, mix, blend very nicely this alcohol-based paint. And uh, there's something else in it. I don't know what is in it. Um, but anyway, so then you take this and add another third of that. So this is going to give it glimmer. The color is going to give it color, and the alcohol is going to help to set it. So then you put it in this container, and you shake it up like crazy. Now, another thing that we had a long, long time ago were these, these um, I hope that you can see it. This is a hood. I'm going to show you the whole thing. It's wicked, wicked big. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. But anyway, it's a cardboard hood. And what we did was we used it so you can spray things and not get spray all over your kitchen or all over yourself or outside, whatever. So I simply take it and I put it into the box. Let me see if I can bring this over like this, like this. And then I'm going to spray it. Now, for me, I have to do it over here on the side because I cannot do it on camera. I wish I could. I bet there's a way to do it. But anyway, you just take it about a foot away and you just start spraying and it comes out very cute. Now, let me just show you what I've done so far. See? How cute is that? So it gives it a little bit of shine, a little bit of glimmer, and then I'm going to spray the sides and then the top. Yes, it does smell like alcohol, but that dries real quickly. And then the top and the bottom and the inside. Okay, now let me put the cap back on that. Here we go. And let me show you what that looks like. So here we have it. So look at how cute that is. Now, the other technique that you could use if you wanted, you could take sponges and sponge it. And I actually have one that I sponged last night. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. So you could sponge colors on if you wanted. This I took um, mint macaron and I sponged it. I prefer to do the spraying because with the spraying, I don't know if you can see, this is still wet. But it, it gives it that glimmer, that shiny little bit of shine and glimmer. While you're spritzing, did you see the calendar? Did you see the calendar stamp set? While you're spritzing, did you see the calendar stamp set? I have no clue what you mean, Steph. What did you see the calendar stamp set? Hmm. Oh, you mean in the new catalog? Yes, I did. I did, I did. I think that's what you mean. But anyway, so there's that. So then you just get to the point where you start decorating. Now, I am offering you to have your own setups if you want, if you are interested in these. Oh, here's another one that I did. I did this one in Blackberry Bliss. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just makes me laugh. Look the silly face and look at her hair it's all cattywampus all over the place but she's got her two little baby chicks too I think it's funny this one this one sorry to, sorry talk to text doesn't like my voice I was asking you a question while he was spritzing if you noticed the new calendar stamp set yes I did yes I did <laughs> I'm sorry I'm still hung up with these chicks and how so, simply adorable they are funny this one's calling all our hands get back here you kids get back to the nest it's time to sit and wait for these guys to hatch. Anyway, so there you have it. So if anybody wants those, I'm more than happy to either make them for you or get you the setups as well. So, my friends, <laughs> there we go. We're back. All right, so you've got the porch pickups for this week. Here they are. Again, do 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 There you go. And if anybody is interested in cute little egg crates, They're so funny. Oh my God, they're so funny. Yes, this would be a porch pickup plus because you would, if you wanted to come, you could do your stamping, you could do your spritzing and everything here, or you could sponge whatever you want. So that's it, my friends. I hope that uh, th this has been fun for you. It's been fun for me. Oh, by the way, I did have a little tag that I was going to put on it. This one I says, um, have a happy day. So I think that I'm just going to put this on right here. I put it on with a little dimensional like that. So there it is right there. Have a happy day. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. Very cute. All right. So 
porch pickup, let me know if you need them. Uh, Nancy, I will hold those for you because I know that's what you want. I just love you laugh with the chickens. They just make me laugh. They're just the funniest little stamps. They're so darn cute. Um, okay, so next week is, is for those celebrating Easter. It's Holy Week and it's Good Friday. I still will be on next Friday at 10 o'clock. I don't know what we're doing yet, but I'm sure we'll come up with something fun. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to take a look at the uh, catalog because the stuff is going like hotcakes. If you have any questions, call me. Have a great weekend. It's going to be here. How much are the little egg crates if you make them? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if You mean if I provide all the supplies for you I don't know uh I don't know four dollars yeah four dollars that would be if I make them we'll tack on a little bit more but I'll you know four dollars would be a setup for them so just let me know okay all right oh my god you're too funny <laughs> all right so friends I will see Anyway, okay, so I will see you next week. Have a great weekend. It's going to be wet here, but that's okay. Better than snow uh, and safe travels coming home from Florida, Joe and Jean. I love you all. Namaste next week. Bye.